What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at MattyFish33 on YouTube. If you've been here before, thank you. Couldn't do this without you guys. If it's your first time here, like, subscribe, share, click that bell, get those notifications, and follow us along on this cichlid journey. So today is going to be our first fish featurette from the cube system since we refurbished it and set it up um, a couple months now. Um, and our first fish featurette from this system is going to be on our red spotted savrum, otherwise scientifically known as Heros SP or Ifasciitis. That's going to be this guy right here. Such a pretty little guy, but you know, don't let him fool you. He is going to be a big fish one day. Right now, I would say this guy is probably a little bit smaller than the size of a hockey puck, right about the size of a hockey puck. So he's about maybe a little more than three inches long and he's probably just as tall. That is one thing really to note about these Severum fish. They are very broad fish, very chunky fish. And you know, it may grow to be, you know, 10, 12 inches long one day, but that is going to be a massive fish at that size. Like think of like maybe your dinner plate, but it is an inch and a half thick, maybe even thicker. I see our chocolate cichlid wants to steal some of the light. Maybe we'll do you next time, buddy. But um, today's video is about our red spot Severum. So as you can see, they have this really nice gold body and these beautiful red dots that are going to intensify as this guy ages. Um, I've already noticed um, a little bit of intensification in that sense like when I first got him he didn't really have spots in his fins and he has that now as he's grown he's kind of getting a little more of that you know really true like severum shape one thing that I thought was interesting too I don't know if you can see this if it'll if he'll stay when he looks at you dead on look at that you can kind of see like a bit of pupil from the eyes I'm not sure what that's about if anybody knows let me know in the comments below um, so one other thing about these guys is that I have noticed at least they will pretty much eat just about anything. They are fairly omnivorous. Um, now a lot of people have said, well, you know, aren't you worried about having the plants in there? He might eat the plants one day. Well, I mean, yeah, that's like any cichlid, but you know, I think that it's going to be all right in that sense. He hasn't messed with these plants really. Um, and he's well fed. And even if he does, I have a lot of vegetation down in my sump. Um, so let's get into that real quick. So what does a Severum typically prefer for its environment? So they are native to the Amazon River Basin, its tributaries and lakes. Um, and that's where they come from out in the wild, um, which is very much so similar to how the substrate is in this aquarium. There is sand in this aquarium. There is also some small pebbles, some river rock. And I also have some strata here. Um, but you know, another thing that they're big with is there's a lot of driftwood and vegetation where they come from, hence driftwood, vegetation. We have a flat stone for maybe one day if I get another Severum, perhaps if they want a pair. Might not be the best idea to try to do that though. Um, these guys aren't like super, super aggressive, but when they, just like pretty much any other cichlid, even the less aggressive cichlids, when they um, pair up and decide to mate, they are very aggressive when they are spawning and they are super protective of either their nesting site or, you know, if it's an African cichlid, they're protective when they are brooding as well. So just like a lot of your other South and Central American cichlids, they're gonna like softer water and a little bit lower pH. It's not typically like my African cichlids would be. Um, so these guys are gonna do best in a pH of say around six to about 7.5. That's kind of pushing it. Right now we're like right in the middle range of that. Um, I tested the pH in this system a couple days ago and we were just under seven. I would call it like six, eight, six, nine uh, based off the coloration. Um, but we're, we're right in there. And one thing that really helps me with the pH in this system in that sense is going to be my driftwood first and foremost. And then also, so one thing about that, the driftwood releases tannins in the water, which the tannins help lower your pH. And you can see there is a little bit of tinting 
to this water. Um, but it has um, gone away slightly the longer this driftwood has been sunken down. Um, and then another thing in here that I have that helps lower my pH is I also have peat moss down in my sump. Um, and that'll help naturally lower and stabilize your pH over the course of time. One thing, my water here, very good for Africans. Not so ideal for South and Central American cichlids, so I kind of have to do a little more for this setup in that sense. But check out how brilliant this guy's pattern is. I'm not sure if this is a male or a female. Um, I've heard that, you know, you can tell by the way that their pattern gets up around the gill plate um, is a better way to kind of tell them apart. But like, you know, that's gonna come with time, guys. I could probably vent this fish. Not on camera, obviously, because we're not gonna get the right angle. <laughs> um, but you know once once this guy gets a little bit bigger i will vent him um, and see if it is a male or a female one thing though that is cool about these south american cichlids as opposed to african cichlids is a lot of these south american cichlid species are far less dimorphic than their african counterparts which means that you're going to see a lot of good coloration whether it is a male or a female fish so these these guys these severums they're typically going to live about 10 to 12 years with proper care and nutrition um and i have full faith that this guy is going to reach there one day it's going to be very interesting to see how big i can actually get him in this tank so minimum tank size for these guys is going to be um approximately 75 gallons 75 to 90 gallons if you have a pair of them or if they're with other fish such as this one um, as many of you know that have been following the channel, this is a 140 gallon cube aquarium. And then I have the sump I have below, I think I approximated it around 37 gallons or so. So all in all, you know, we're, we're just under 180 gallons for this entire system. So I think we're doing pretty good in that sense, but I really like this guy. Um, you know, he'll pretty much eat just about anything that I throw in this tank to go back on the other thing. Now, I'm not obviously going to put anything in here that's unhealthy for any of these fish. Um, but, I mean, this guy will eat bloodworms, pellets, um, brine shrimp. He's even eaten some of the mealworms I've put in for our archer fish. Um, I've even watched him eat earthworms that I was feeding the um, fire eel. So, um, pretty much will eat anything. Um, I haven't noticed too much aggression out of him yet. Um, I think that that's because he's still kind of maturing, kind of just tends to keep to himself. Um, when he's not hanging out by himself, he kind of hangs around our chocolate cichlid right here. As you can see, he's kind of coming back up there with that. Um, but I can't wait to see how this fish grows up and grows out, and hopefully soon we'll be able to determine if this fish is male or female, and then we can go ahead and name this fish. Not gonna lie guys though, I kind of have a name if it ends up being a male. I've, I've affectionately kind of been referring to this fish as Icarus. Um, if many of you are familiar with Greek mythology, Icarus who flew close to the sun and his wings made of wax melted and he fell back to earth. Um, and I think that there's a little bit of association for me there because this guy is just like a little sunburst of color for me. Um, hence why I've kind of been referring to this fish as Icarus so far. Um, let's see our chocolate cichlids say, hey, 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 I want some of the camera. But um, just wanted to bring you guys this quick fish feature. And if you guys want to learn more about some of these baby South and Central American cichlids that we have growing up in this tank, let me know. And I will definitely do more fish features on the cube. We're going to do a quick little update too. Everybody in the big boy tank doing well. Um, I think if you hadn't seen my update video on the gallery yesterday, take a look at that. Um, talks a little bit about some of the things that have been going on in this. Our 40 gallon needs to get set back up. I'm not quite sure what I want to do there yet. Let me know, guys. But most importantly, I have to tell you guys, I tested the water for the vintage 90 gallon aquarium, and we are good to go. We are fully cycled, and we are ready to start trying to fish inside this aquarium. So guys, let me know, please, 
in the comments below what you think you might like to see me do in, inside this tank. I'm thinking something different, but you know, I want to see what you guys have to say before I ultimately um, make a decision on what I want to do with this tank. Uh, so we're going to leave you guys with that. One last look at our red spot Severum as he's coming up to say hello again. Such a beautiful fish and I can't wait to continue watching him grow and see how big and beautiful this guy gets as his spots become bolder and more defined. So thank you guys for tuning in today and I will see you in the next video. Matty Fish out.